Legend of Total War here with part three, or turn three, of the Hot Seat campaign um, on the Crusades campaign as the Turks. Alright, so Egypt has asked for an alliance. This is something that's a bit iffy. I mean, it'd be good to stay on his good side, but at the same time, being allied with him might piss off my other allies, because then I've got effectively three allies, even though they haven't been fully established yet. So that would be the Byzantines and the and Antioch. don't think it would piss off the off Antioch. I'm going to accept this because I don't see any any harm in it. Okay, we've got an adoption that can wait. We can deal with that later. Okay, so financially I'm totally fucked. As I knew it would be. That's why I'm so aggressively trying to conquer some settlements. So let's have a look at the situation. Alright, situation is... is okay. It, I mean, the money's no good, but I've got a lot of territories. Um, now, there was one thing I want to do first up, and that is use this spy to spy on this priest. But what I want to do is save first. That way, if he dies, I can just load, which you're allowed to do in this campaign. And what this will do is give my spy some experience. Okay, good. It looks like I've got two points of it. Good. And then I'll just send him back to Amorium. So, Oivio having his priest in here is actually good for me. I should probably move this guy back up here as well. Oivio's got his spy here, but whatever. I can't actually get him to there. That's okay. So what's going on over here? Alright, I think it's time. Let's, let's take on uh, Kufa. So everyone, everyone gets over here. Hmm, I might actually, it might be a good idea if my adoption happened right here. The only downside to adopting this character is that he's going to cost me about 200 uh, florins a turn extra. And I'm already can't afford, already can't afford any of this shit. However, uh, this army needs to keep going down here, and there's there's a bunch of little settlements down here, which aren't worth much right now, but as you can see, there's a lot of gold and shit. So if I can get them developed, they'll be worth a lot of money. And if this army gets down here and they don't have enough troops, then I'll want to hire some mercenaries, and this is the only chance they're going to get to hire that um, the general. Now, I've just got to make sure that I can hire the general there. So the benefactor is Crown Prince as Sali, and if I'm not mistaken, that's you. So, they'll be adopted in the region where he is, unless he's in enemy territory. So, if we move him over here, and then adopt him, he'll go to the capital, which is Raqqa. So, what we need to do first is capture Kufa, turn it into the capital, accept the adoption, and then return Raqqa as the capital. That's the process. Now, there's two battles in this turn, so I've got a lot more... Um, I suppose flexibility or relax time I suppose than I did in the previous episode. The previous episode was fucking go 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 because I had three battles to do. Sandstorm, no. Okay, that's better. Alright, how are we going to do this? Alright, everyone get back. Okay, I need to reorganize. These two need to stay there just so I know which of these um, Actually, there's an easier way to know. Say this. Those with battering rams, these two are expendable. Because they can't keep up with the army. So if I'm going to use any troops, let it be those two. The others need to move out this turn as well. Now, let's fix that up. Reorganize. More than likely need to use him to shoot into the front, over the gate, uh, over the walls first. And then see what's going on. Okay, those Turkish archers can obviously match my range. So we need to stay uh, steer clear of them. So let's just wait and see what they're doing here. Okay, looks like they're moving all their Turkish archers away from here. 
but they've got their Turkomans and shit there, which is good. Those are perfect targets for my archers. They do not fire at will. Now, the problem with this situation here is that I can outrange them, but if they come closer, then they might be able to shoot. Of course, they can fire whilst moving. Give them a volley. We should only just be within range, and if they move over here, I don't think that they'll be able to hit me, but I don't know for certain. Okay, that was seemingly a pretty good shot. They're coming out here. No, oh, what I'd give for some fucking heavy cavalry. Alright, if they're coming out here, I'm going to send in my uh, my Turkomans to shoot them up as well. What are they fucking doing? They're not charging, are they? They are fucking charging. What the hell? So far, they haven't done it much damage at all to my guys. Tearing them apart. What's this? Arab cavalry. They need to fucking go. Okay, I don't think they've really done anything just yet. Take him down. Come on, shoot the Arab motherfuckers. That's good. What's this? We've got more coming in over here. Turkomans. What the fuck is this mess? Okay, that's good. Don't like that I lost those Turkish archers, but... We got the better of them, which is good enough for me. Come on, you gotta keep shooting. What these guys thin down. Alright, they're wavering, so you stop shooting, let's actually try and capture them, and save our ammunition. Come on, go after them. Chase them down. Okay, stay back. There's still more of them. We're not done with this skirmish just yet. How are we going so far? 2% killed, 11% uh, killed of theirs. So what's this here? Arab Cav? Ah shit, being shot at. Get back. Stop messing around. Ah, oh, the fucking assholes sh being like that. Behind the fucking walls. I mean, behind the gate like that. Hard to hit. Aim for the um, Arab cab instead. They're coming out for another round. In the meantime, you start getting over here. I'm gonna smash that down. They can't shoot, so that's not really a big deal if they're standing there. Do not waste all that fucking ammunition on just that. Ah, it's going to try and run them down. All right, they're abandoning the, uh, abandoning this area, and I've used up uh, you know a third of my ammunition, killing one seventh of the army. Or, I don't know. Yeah, about one seventh. Okay, now we've got town militia coming in. Anyway, let's not worry about that just yet. Or should we? I mean, where possible, I should try and capture them rather than, than shoot them. Now, the enemy general is dead, so that works in my favour. Their morale should be pretty bad. But I lack shock cavalry. Okay, what do we got coming in here? Loads of militia type shit. It's okay, let them get there and be all dense and crap. Actually, I'd really benefit from being over this side, shooting into them from there. 
Anyway, get a move on it. There's unlimited time on the battle. How much time have I got left for the video, though, for the turn? Just checking my stopwatch. Okay, I've used 10 minutes. Mm, it might actually be better if I use these guys' ammunition. Let's maybe step back. That's not active, so it's not a big deal. Now, the reason why I say that these guys should do it is because they technically have a high ground advantage, so they don't need to shoot at such an angle over the over the walls. Okay, let's start with this one. See what you can do. So technically, those would be better because they're facing the wrong fucking direction. It's too late now. Is anyone else coming this way? Really need to catch their um, their Turkish archers, which I think they have three of, in um, melee. Can't let them do any shots, because they're dangerous. Okay, they're shaken. Thin them out a little bit. I don't want to waste all my ammunition. Because what I really want to do is capture them. But this seems to be working quite well. We're getting a lot of kills out of this. And the ammunition of these units are more important than theirs. Uh, than the Turkomans. I've used up more than half my ammunition now. The spear militia and the town militia are badly damaged. Okay, stop shooting for a minute, because they're getting into loose formation. Let them get back into a dense formation again. Alright, there they go. Because we get more kills that way, so just do one volley and then stop. Yeah, I told you to fucking stop. And then they get back into a dense formation. And then we do one more. Or is it two more? Fucking pricks. Okay, there's still these town militia here. They deserve a bit of a killing as well. They can't just go without. That's not fair. Get over here. Can't get too close. There's also spear militia over there, but can't reach them. Okay, stop. They're wavering. That's perfect. Okay. Now what we need to do... Get over here. No towers are active, so I'm not going to get hurt. Now what I need to do... Save the last little bit of ammunition I've got and rout these motherfuckers and chase them down. Now, I don't need to send all of my troops for this. Just these two will be fine. But send you in to initiate the, uh, the rout. Oops. Hang on, hang on. They're not breaking just yet. There we go. Run them down. There we go. Chain reaction a la carte. Ah, oh, fuck, here they come. Get out of there. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out. Both of you get out. I've got some motherfuckers coming in over this way. Okay, we still managed to capture that other fucker. Anyway, this could be good if they come out over here. You. You fucking shoot. Uh, where are you? You're too far back. Get over here. Okay, Mike. What are these? Kurdish auxiliaries? Gotta get in a position where it's not going to damage you so much. Right there. 
still got ammunition, so I can still make use of you. So what do we got over here? We got Turkish archers. Where are those Turkish archers going to be shooting? Looks like they're trying to shoot at my Kurdish auxiliaries, which is perfect. That's what I want them to be doing. While that's going on, I'll use my Turkish archers to kill off their other troops. You're all shooting, aren't you? Good. So use them as a meat shield. Don't forget to get to loose formation. Whilst we do the real damage. Allah is glorious. We have taken the walls. It is time we captured this place. Come on, hurry up. Effectively shooting... Oh, let me see. Take out those... Uh, whatever. Good thing I saved up their ammunition. Actually, while that's going on, you might want to come around here and shoot them as well. Oh, hang on, hang on. They're shooting at my Turkish archers now, I think. Alright, if that's the case, send them in. And send these guys in as well, because they're all missile units. It's not going to count for shit. Let's see if we can get a mass route going. It's a bit hard given that these guys are missile units, but we do what we can. Come on, take them down. If we can get a mass route, that would be awesome. Try and shoot those fuckers as well. Come on, push through. We gotta break them right now. And you come in as well. It's time to press the attack. Shake in. Come on, break them. It's really dangerous sending horse archers to fight spear militia. Only half the enemy force remains. Come on, break them. They're wavering, come on. Do it, you son of a bitch. They've lost their general, come on. Good. Now run them down, and everyone else over here. Do not fuck around with me today. Seriously, you pieces of shit. You're in the perfect position. Okay, quit firing. Push ahead. Come on, capture them for fuck's sake. Mass route, mass route. Look at this, we did it. We haven't exactly won the battle just yet, but that is exactly what we needed to do. That is what you call a plan working. Hundreds of them dead. Being made useless to the enemy. Okay, now you guys have you used your usefulness, get over here. Get back. Alright. Now then, you lot, go and finish this off. There's nothing left. So I've lost 11% of my army. That's a hell of a lot better than auto resolve would have yielded, especially since I don't have a general. Unfortunately, I've lost some good quality units. Some Turkish archers and, and horse archers. But they have some of the most expensive upkeep, so... Gotta save some money somewhere. 
Near 10 to 1 kill ratio. Bit of recovery. Bit of recovery amongst the Turkish horse archers. Not against the Turkish... Oh, wait, no. Turkish archers. They come back a bit. Awesome. The horse archers are probably more useful, more versatile, especially if I'm ever to go up against the Christian lords. Or players, which I probably will at some point. Let's face it. Somebody's got to win this. Uh, I'm going... Let's see, if I sack it, I get a bit of money. But... I damage the place. And, fuck, I don't know... What's there. If I occupy it, it's more worth to me. Uh, I get a bit of money out of that. We'll occupy it, that way we can sooner turn it into uh, a large town. Anyway, the place is okay. It's, um... Islam's pretty strong here, so that's not a problem. Okay, let's merge everyone. Okay, so casualties wise, there's a bit there, but it's not that bad. Save that. Now let's have a bit of a scout. Let's see what's going on down here. Probably nothing. There's nothing down here. Shit, I don't know where the fucking next settlement is. It's alright, we'll figure it out. Let's just head down south, and then figure it out from there. Okay, so that's been taken. You're over here. Need to change the capital to Kufa. And then accept this. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Let me see if I can undo that. How did that not happen? You piece of fucking shit. Don't tell me we're going to get bogged down on this crap. So if I say yes right now, it doesn't happen. Because he's in foreign territory. That doesn't make sense. Ah, shit. Probably a good thing then, I suppose. Because it would cost me a lot of money. Now, according to this, I'm actually making profit per turn. Alright then, well, let's get a move on. Can't take them. They're garrison. That's still enough. That should be able to deal with any villages around here. I don't know where exactly it is. I think it's straight down south, but I'll have to check between now and the next turn. Alright, you're moving up this way. Would like to build a watchtower there, but of course, got no money. You over here. Yeah. I need to get these guys out of here. They can't go down that way. I mean, they have to go down this way, but they can't go there. Or else they get bogged down. We don't have military access with the with Antioch just yet. Okay, so using these guys as a spy, we can see that basically Jerusalem is attacking Banyas, but they should have done that fucking on turn one, not on turn three. So he's sort of being a bit slow. Next up is Atalaya. And what are we doing with you? Don't want to have him caught in Byzantine lands. I don't want to give Oivio any excuse to attack me. Because I would actually like to keep the alliance going for a while. Also, you. You'll need to head over here and take Caesarea next turn. It's likely to be a costly battle, but that's okay. It'll save me some money. And it's a... Could, at some point, be quite a good territory to have. There's no way it's going to sally out, so that shouldn't be a problem. I've got way too many horse archers, though. I lack Turkish archers. And also, that's the equivalent of a large town as well. The walls. Which, as you all know, I fucking hate fighting large towns. I think they're harder than huge cities, especially if they've got huge garrisons like this. Yes, noble. 
Okay, now this one's next. Okay, so let's see if I can actually bring in some more troops. Do I need these guys here? They're cheap upkeep. Let me just see. Do I need you to keep you there? Still need to keep you there. Okay, we're up against Captain Constantine, the motherfucker. So we got Scythicon, Byzantine Cavalry, those are horse archers, Trebizond archers, those long range archers, and garbage. Filler troops. We'll try and do exactly what we did last battle at um, that other fucking place. See how that goes. So I've used up 25 minutes. I've got basically half an hour to do this. But then I would only have five minutes to do everything else. This shouldn't take half an hour. It's a much smaller scale battle. Oh fuck, what a mess. Got a lot of horse archers, which is good in a way. Drop the ram, you're not fucking getting on that. Um, I don't know where they're going to show up. Everything's organized, so that's good. Just stay over there. You stay back. I'll be able to utilize you in this battle as well. You'll be good to take down those Scythicon. Okay, Javelins. You're probably of the least use to me. You'll be going in. Just need to get away from their Trebizond archers to begin with. Okay. Go where you need to go. Oh, fuck. They're shooting. Get back. Okay, I only lost one man, so that's okay. I'm trying to get a feel for what they're going to do. Okay, there go the Trebizond archers, I think. around this way. Shooting into them is probably a good idea. Now also, I've got a lot of horse archers here. They could actually beat those Trebizond archers if we just basically come from over here and then just rampage right over here and just fucking shoot right over the fence. Because they're right near the fence as well. They've got a higher shooting angle to do, I suppose. That could work. Do that before using the Armenians. Save the Armenians for last. Because they could be vital in shooting those Scythicon down as well. Now, after we've taken the settlement, I technically don't really need any troops here. They'd be there to, I suppose, fight Oivio, but since I'm going to be allied with him, I don't know if I really need them. That being said, don't disband them, because then Oivia will probably see me as weak in attack. Okay, so basically what we want to do is just rush over here as soon as possible, as quickly as possible. Not too close, or else they'll shoot. Well, they might actually charge up over here as well. That could be a problem. Although I do have more. I could outnumber them and outgun them that way. Maybe first up, use the these ones. Just to get a feel of what might happen. Maybe if possible, even shoot the Scythic... Oh, I've got to be careful about that. It's possible that they'll come out as soon as we start shooting. Okay, we're in range. And we're in range of their Scythicon. Their Scythicon are of higher priority, so shoot them. Okay, get back. Get the fuck back. If they're gonna come outside, that's okay. My, that's what my general's here for. Be able to tear them to shreds. Should be able to, being the keyword. word. 
Don't you fucking die on me, prick. So far, so good. Okay, we've taken out this one battalion here, but then he needs to get the fuck out of there. Because he's getting shot to shit. But he hasn't taken any damage yet. Oh, he's, ar he's got armor upgrades, so that's helping. But don't forget, he does have hit points. So we took them out entirely. Excellent. Come on, get out of there. Okay. One casualty taken. For all of those. Might say that, that was pretty successful. But we're not going to get away with that kind of... Of not so many casualties again. I think. What's this? Those trebles on archers seem to be coming over this side this time. Why are they coming around the back of the fort? Why the fuck are they doing that? Once again, we should try. Oh no, hang on, there's trebles on archers there. Hmm. Okay, how much time we got? I'm just gonna check my fucking thing again. Always gotta keep an eye on it. Okay, 31 minutes past. Hmm. How are we going to deal with this? Oh, fuck me. That's not going to do any damage. Oh. Well, it did do damage to at least one unit. I have an idea, though. This is risky, but having him being shot there could work in my favour. Get in loose formation. Basically, whilst he's being shot, if I send all of these horse archers over here to shoot at them, they could destroy them. Make sure they're actually within range. Okay, they're getting ready. Okay, there we go. If only this fucking thing here wasn't there. Putting them right there would be perfect. See, they're shooting at such a bad angle that they're unlikely to do any serious damage. Come and get over here. Okay, you as well. Get close. They got Byzantine cavalry, we should aim for them. Easier targets. Don't worry about this, this is nothing. Okay, now they're aiming for my fucking horse archers. I just have an idea. Shoot them. Yeah. Fuck, get back, get back. Now that they're out, they're vulnerable. Being shot, shoot them. Fucking pricks. Come on, I told you to move. You didn't get a charge on them. The fuck are you guys doing? Okay, they're broken. Chase them down. Okay, you guys come in as well. Come closer. Gotta shoot the shit out of them. Quite possible we can get a huge fucking route going. Because these are all essentially just garbage. Come on, push through. Get to these trebles on motherfuckers. Quit shooting. And flees like a whipped dog. Victory is well within our grasp. We didn't kill the fucking general, what the fuck? Okay, get back. That didn't exactly work. Keep shooting, here comes spear militia this time. Yes, we want to shoot them. Yep, keep shooting them. Their horse archers have been pretty much destroyed. Where's their other archer unit?
there he is. Are they the ones shooting? Fuck! This isn't going as well as the last battle was. But I don't really need this one to go as well. They're broken. Run them down. Fuck, I didn't expect them to route so quickly. Then again, I suppose it was really putting a lot of damage on them. Okay, hold your fire. Okay, wavering good. You're gonna break the motherfuckers. Where's there? Yep. Okay, we've got to get at those arm uh, trebizond archers. Shit. Okay, we're inside. Didn't even need the bloody siege equipment. Get over here. Okay, who are we gonna use? Use you, come inside. Fuck, 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 shoot! I mean, not shoot, hit them before they bloody shoot. Okay, they should be able to kick their ass. Where's the general? How badly damaged is he? He hasn't been hit at all, so that's good. Good to stay there in melee with them while we shoot the shit out of everything else. Of course, they're still shooting. Called Seljuk Rebels, but they've got entirely Greek units. Here we going for time. Twenty minutes left. Where are you, General? Oh, I don't like you there, especially with the town militia. Keep an eye on his hit points. Yeah, and he's taken a few steps back, which is good. Oh, no, he's going forward again. That's actually really dumb. Do not risk your life. Get out of there. Just took some damage. Just about out of ammunition. This fuck is chasing us, because that's alright. They didn't. Where are you? You're not that badly damaged, I'm sure. Let's see if you can catch these fuckers this time. A foe fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Uh, everyone stop shooting, for fuck's sake. General lies dead. Why is this one? We have lost control of the castle. No, we have it. We've won. Where the fuck are they? Victory is ours. Victory was That's nowhere near as good a victory as it got last time. Otherwise. How do we go for casualties healed? Have we got a bit? So I lost 10% of the army, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. I don't even need these troops anymore. Oh, 
Uh, just occupy it. Don't want to kill anyone. Because we need to grow this. If it was a large city or something like that, then yeah, sack it. But all these tiny little piece of shit towns. Okay, so now it says we're likely to be making nearly a thousand per turn. So that's good. I can get myself out of debt next turn. Unfortunately, I can't raise another ship, or raise a ship, to, to get over here, though. Alright, so what are we going to do? We need to raise some funds somehow. Let's have a look at Kufa, if we were to jack up the tax rate a bit. Fuck, that can go all the way to very high. It's not a huge difference in income. It's about an extra 50%, which is actually quite a bit. They're on their way. Okay, so next turn I'm only looking to be taking Caesarea. Okay, so now I'm sitting on 14 territories. Next time I'll besiege, uh, what's this called? Kermanshire. And then there's Tabriz. You come down here. I don't know why, just because. Alright, time to have a look at the agents. What are you doing? Do I have a mission? Send an emissary to the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Now, there's no way that I can accept an alliance with him, but I can suppose I can get trade at the meantime. Just stay there. In fact, it might be a good idea just to get him killed. Because he's using up money. These assassins... Yeah, whatever. Okay, the spy. What are we doing with them? I think it's villages all the way down here, so I don't think he's needed. Maybe keep an eye on what Jerusalem are up to. It'll be a few turns before they get there, though. Now, what about them? I mean, there's other towns around here that we could possibly go after. They'll never catch up with these. Problem is, though, if I take them outside of the city, I'll have to drop the tax rate. I mean, that general could just administrate to these fuckers. This is just a little bit more than a full stack. Alright, let's see. If I take him out, how are we going? Public order still stable. I'd like to keep it at very high tax rate. Still the green. Good. Good. Ha, good stuff. Just need to leave one unit there, that's all. Uh, it'd be pretty silly to think that I can get to Damascus first, but there's other settlements around here we could do. We could go after, and it's quite possible because I know Damascus has a very large garrison. That after they've taken Damascus, they're probably a little bit diminished. And it might give me the opportunity to attack something. Don't really want to go up at war... Ah, uh, don't really want to go to war with, uh, Jerusalem, though. Not yet. Wait for somebody else to initiate a war. I think I don't want to be the, uh... The, uh, the player everyone's looking to get rid of first. Because, although I could certainly take probably any one of these guys one-on-one, -on -one, I can't take on four at once. Although I don't think that would be the case. I mean, it's pretty easy to, to say I can take them on one-on-one -on -one when I've got the bigger military. But of course, the longer I wait, uh, the Byzantines, the harder they will become. But he's my ally, so don't worry about that. What am I doing? Agents. You just stay there, I guess. 
Yep, provide extra Islam. Before to use that spy. I don't want to be spreading Islam in his territory. I don't know why he thinks it's okay to, to put a priest in my territory. It's sort of a breach of trust, but it's not really a big deal. This merchant here fucking sucks. I want my money back on him. You can get 21 thorns a turn by trading with that. You come over here for this turn. You can get 21 from that, but 41 from here. Where else could we send you? Nah, that's horseshit. We'll need to send him somewhere else. He can't just be trading three. It'll take him a hundred years to fucking make back the money I paid for him. Fucking turd burger. Wherever you will, Sultan. I serve your will. Hmm, we get more out of these for some reason. Yes, Sultan. Alright, well it's only, what, 41? And for a 50% boost, get the fuck down here. And that way you can take over that. And hopefully actually gain some abilities. Because I need the fucking money prick. Okay, we've got a spy here. I could possibly send him to Kermanshah to um, possibly open the gates. Should have running out of time. I've only got 12 minutes left. Um, or, hang on, what do we get out this way? I think this is a very big territory, this. Or we can send him to the front. The front being over here. He'd never be able to catch up with this. Yeah, let's send him over here. I need to see what my rivals are doing. And then there's this guy, who's just providing some Islam. Whatever, don't put him in allied territory, don't want to insult them. Which Oivio doesn't seem to fucking care about. Oivio's a bit ta uh, tactless. Uh, well, I'm one to talk, aren't I? Okay, so that's agents done, done with. Let's have a look at cities. Because I think I now have the biggest empire over everyone, because I've got 14 territories. And I think... Um, Oivio might actually have more than that. But we'll, we'll know next turn. Uh, don't bother recruiting anything. Ah, uh, shit. There's extra tax rate would certainly help, but can't fucking put any units in there. I mean, I can put him in there, but who's... it's not even going to do anything anyway, because it's a large city. Mosul, can't bother recruiting. I mean, I could possibly go and destroy some buildings I really don't think I'll need, and that'll put me back into the black. But, I don't know. Can't really see anything to destroy that I don't need. Like, I don't really need the grain exchange just yet, but it will come in handy in the long run. Plus, destroying it's not going to yield much income. Okay, could probably jack the tax rate up there a little bit. Don't really like having to do that. I want to keep them on low tax rate so they can grow, but I need the money. Iconium, can't fix that up. High tax rate at Dori over there. Dori Lium. Try and get an extra hundred out of them. What settlement's this? And it's growing, so I don't know. It's probably not a good idea doing that. Because if it goes into the red and riots, then we we'll likely have to pay a lot more than that. Then again. Islam's improving. Just leave it for a turn. It's only 100. Okay, Kirkuk. You can jack up the tax rate there. I don't know what I did. That 
Oh, maybe because I hired that unit. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, maybe because I built that. Fuck it, I don't know. It's in 80%, that's safe. I didn't sack it, I don't think. It's not growing at all now, though, so keep it on high tax rate, because we need growth. It's also not building anything. So at this point, we'll likely have 792 next turn. Yay. It's fucking nothing. Okay, Alania. Oh, shit, where is this? Don't know if I can justify taxing that. Although, I did occupy it, and there's a lot of Christianity here, which is likely to go down. Where is my imams? Mm. Sending him over here would certainly help, because that is worth an extra 70, uh, 77. That's not a big deal, just leave it as it is. That way it continues to grow a bit faster. Also, with this guy, because he's chival uh, chivalrous, um, he's increasing the population growth. Now, I'm wondering if perhaps it would be better if I sent him back to Alanya. Fucking, let me check the time again. Fucking, must be running out by now. Yep, I better hurry up. I've only got a few minutes left, but there's so much to think about, and I need to make the right decisions. Because the decisions I make now are going to affect the rest of the campaign. Let's see, if I was to take him outside of the city... Income goes down a little bit. Population growth. Actually, this doesn't necessarily need population growth. I keep forgetting about that because this is not stainless steel. I've been playing stainless steel too much. Um, doesn't need population growth just yet. Let's send him over here. Oh, that's right. He doesn't necessarily increase the public order. He does increase population growth, which was probably already going to get quite high. As my sultan will. He does increase money though, it considerably increases the tax rate. It's a bit risky, but I'm going to leave him in here. Next turn I will be able to upgrade it, but then again, I'm not really going to have the funds to be able to do anything with that. I just upgraded this as well. Might have to sack Caesarea. Okay, so have I just gone through all the towns and shit? Yep, I'd like to upgrade that, but I can't afford it. Money-wise. Okay, now I've got 907 coming in next turn. I'm actually thinking... Let's just see. So this is 12 plus 12. That's 24 units plus 9. That's 31. So it's more than a full stack. Who have we got here that we could possibly disband? I don't know. I feel like if I disband them, of course, I'll lose my military superiority, which is quite good. And who knows, I might get into a big fight around here. That'll be fun. And I think I've done everything that I can. Let's just make sure I've moved everyone. Don't want to forget something. You've been moved. You've moved. Yes, noble. What to do with them? Actually, why don't I send some fuckers back over here? How may I serve, Sultan? Naam. We move, Sultan. Ah, fuck, it's already at 80%. So that didn't really help. Well, I suppose as it continues to grow, it will help. But what about an Amorium? Any chance of getting back there? Not this turn, but if you can get back there for next turn, that'll help. That way we can jack up the tax rate a bit more. I probably should have sent more out that way. Uh, you. How good are you? Can't quite make it to Amorium. No, don't do that. Alright, well, at the very least, next turn, where. We've sorted out the financial problems, so I shouldn't be in debt. I haven't recruited any troops in this turn, or built anything, because I had no money. I have conquered, and I will conquer again next turn. I'll conquer this area, 
and then we'll besiege these two. So on turn four, I'll have 15 territories. On turn six, I'll have 18 territories. At least. That's if I don't manage to catch to these motherfuckers as well. Okay then, well that's the end of uh, this turn, so let's fucking move on. So guys, like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out everyone else's videos. The next player is of course Alex the Rambler. Don't forget to check out his channel. All of the channels are in the description. And I'll see you next time, fuckers.